Have the West Virginia Mountaineers found their quarterback of the future as part of the 2024 recruiting class? Pull up a chair, sit back, relax, and let's talk about it. What is up, college sports fans, Big 12 fans, and fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos. Welcome in to another edition of Coos's Corner. Pull that chair up and let me serve you up another shot of top shelf college football content. On tap today, I'm once again going to talk about my team, the West Virginia Mountaineers, give you a little bit of an, an update on some recruiting and a quarterback that the Mountaineers are looking at in the 2024 class. And no, I'm not talking about Samaj Jones. The highly touted four-star quarterback West Virginia has been recruiting heavily as part of the 24 class. There is another quarterback that has emerged as a potential Mountaineer that I want to talk about today. His name, Khalil Wilkins. According to Rivals, Khalil Wilkins is a six foot four, 190 pound quarterback, attends Dr. Henry Wise High School, and he's from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. I love the six foot four frame. Now, 24 7 Sports has him listed at six foot three. Rivals has him at six four. Not really that big a deal. Either way, he's a tall quarterback. Now, the 190 pound frame, is that a little bit concerning? It could be. Not a lot of meat on the bones, but hey, he's only a senior in high school or actually going into his senior year of high school, he has plenty of time to put weight on. And another reason it doesn't concern me, there is another really good quarterback that you all probably know, or at least most of you if you're a college football fan, that came out of high school right around this same size. His name, Michael Penix Jr. Michael Penix Jr. is currently the quarterback for the Washington Huskies. Before that, he was a quarterback for the Indiana Hoosiers. He's one of the top quarterbacks in all of college football. He also came out of high school. At six foot four, 190 pounds, or right around that. And Michael Penix Jr. is also a left hander, just like Khalil Wilkins. He's a dual threat quarterback, just like Khalil Wilkins. So it's it's actually pretty uh, amazing the similarities between these two quarterbacks. Uh, similar styles, similar throwing motions, similar size. I really, I really like this kid. Now, am I saying this kid is going to be as good? As Michael Penix Jr., I'm not saying that at all, but I do think he has the potential to be a really good college quarterback. Now, his offer list, and by the way, he's a three-star according to Rivals. 24-7 has him as a no-star recruit, uh, but I think that will change. And When you look at his offer list, it won't wow you, but I'm going to explain it all in just a minute. When you look at his offer list, he has seven total offers. Boston College, UNC Charlotte, Elon, Marshall, North Carolina A&T, Pitt, and West Virginia. Now, I know what you're thinking. Coos, there's only three Power 5 schools on that list. I understand that. But there again, for the same reason that 24-7 probably hasn't given him a star rating yet, is the same reason I think he's only had a few Power 5 offers. And that is the fact he, before transferring to, to Dr. Henry Wise High School, he attended Roosevelt High School in Washington, D.C. Roosevelt High School has less than 700 students in grades 9 through 12. It's a smaller school. So he, has, he was not on the radar of a lot of large colleges because of that. I live in West Virginia. We have a lot of small schools in West Virginia. Matter of fact, most of our schools here, even the higher-level schools, are small compared to a lot of other states. So I understand it's harder to get noticed when you attend a smaller school. That's probably the reason he transferred to a larger school in Henry Wise, which is a Class 4A school in the state of Maryland. And he will get more offers coming in when they see his tape, when they see that he has these other Power 5 offers, and when they see him play at a higher level. Now, Wilkins actually recently threw at a 7-on-7 event at West Virginia. According to to 24-7 Sports, he spent a lot of time with the staff after the event including with Coach Brown. He's obviously received an offer, like I mentioned earlier, from the Mountaineers. Uh, when he threw at this camp, and I'm going to link to the video of him throwing at this West Virginia 7-on-7 event, but, man, I'm telling you, the kid can throw a football. He's very he's accurate with the ball. He, in my opinion, has a really strong arm, especially on the shorter routes and media, intermediate routes. There's a very good spiral, very catchable ball, and, his, and the velocity on his ball is really good, in my opinion. He does throw at a weird arm angle and a weird motion, but a lot of that might just be because he's left-handed and we're not used to seeing left-handers throw. But he does throw with a little bit of a weird motion, but, man, the ball comes out of his hand pretty quickly. 
and he gets it where it needs to go very quickly as well. So I really like it. He's a dual threat quarterback, like I mentioned earlier. I've not been able to confirm his 40 time, but based on what I've read in, in so, on some message boards, I think it's around a 4-7, which, oh, by the way, also happens to be the same 40 time Michael Penix Jr. ran when he was coming out of high school. So there again, just another similarity with Michael Penix Jr. And like I said earlier, this young man has yet to commit to West Virginia, but I think he will very soon. As a matter of fact, he may commit by the time you watch this video. There's a couple reasons I think he'll commit. Number one, he's future casted to West Virginia on Rivals' website. They give him an 80% chance to land at West Virginia. Uh, based on what I've read, he really liked what he's seen at West Virginia, really likes the coaching staff, uh, the facilities, everything he's seen at West Virginia, he seems to really like. There, again, not as much Power 5 competition with only Pitt and Boston College. And then also, when you look at some recent tweets by West Virginia coaches, I think that's also a little bit of a hint that we will get a commitment from Khalil Wilkins very, very soon. When you look at a tweet, a recent tweet by West Virginia assistant coach Shadon Brown, you'll see now this tweet came out yesterday, June 23rd. He said, let's go, which is the tweet that coaches put out when they get a commitment. And obviously behind, under that, he put a gif of former WWE star, the million-dollar man, Ted DiBiase, and his famous laugh, and along with the let's go. So we got a commitment from someone yesterday. Who was it? We don't know. Then today, Brown puts out this tweet. It says, and I quote, it's a great day to be a Mountaineer if you're in the DMV, end quote. Now, DMV, for most of you, most of you probably know, but for those of you who don't, DMV stands for Delaware, Maryland, Virginia. It's Part of that, where those three states merge, it's a very popular area, and Shadon Brown has apparently been recruiting that area. And now, it, this could just mean he's in that area recruiting today. Or, if you tie that in with the tweet from yesterday, the Let's Go tweet, and the fact that Wilkins was just at West Virginia this past weekend at that 7-on-7 seven seven event, to me, if you read the tea leaves, that's telling us this young man is likely com has likely committed silently now, like I said, I haven't confirmed it yet, but all signs are pointing to this young man being a West Virginia Mountaineer. Uh, I'll be anxious to see if he does put out an official commitment today or maybe sometime over the weekend. I really hope he does. Uh, I know a lot of fans have been excited about Samaz Jones. Samaz Jones, for whatever reason, has yet to make a commitment, but I'm, I guess he's taking his time trying to make sure he makes the right decision, and I respect that. I understand that. But at the same time, this coaching staff has to make a decision because they don't want to lose out on other players waiting on, on Jones's commitment. So, and Jones apparently liked what he saw at Oklahoma. He's also liked what he saw at Cincinnati. So he, there are a lot of other options out there for Jones, the four-star recruit. But, guys, I'm, a, I'm going to be honest with you. After watching Wilkins' tape, I don't think we're, get, we're downgrading to go from Samaj Jones to Khalil Wilkins. I don't at all. Samaj Jones is a faster runner than Khalil Wilkins by probably two-tenths of a second in the 40, give or take. And he's probably more a bigger threat to run the football. But when you look at throwing the football, Khalil Wilkins, to me, is just as good a thrower as Samaj Jones, especially on the short and intermediate routes. So I would not be disappointed at all for this young man to commit, even though he don't have the four-star rating and even though he doesn't have as many Power 5 offers, I think he's just as good or has the potential to be just as good. And... He's he's and just because he's not as fast as Jones doesn't mean he's not fast. A four seven forty is still a good time for a a college quarterback. So this young man would be able to to make plays with his legs as well as with his arm. I want to hear your thoughts, uh, Cousins Corner family and Mountaineer Nation. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this young man. Would you be excited to get him on campus and have him as part of the West Virginia Mountaineers team? Also, once you have a chance to watch his tape, his highlights, I also want to hear your thoughts. Come back and let me know your thoughts there as well about it, about him and the way he throws the football. There's tape on him throwing at the 7-on-7 seven -seven event in Morgantown. There's also a huddle highlight tape that you can watch from his junior season. I'll try to link to both of those in the description box. Guys, if you want to support me here on the channel, you can do it financially in a couple different ways. You can join Kuzis Corner, become a channel member, take advantage of the perks that has to offer. Uh, the, it'll tell you all about the perks once you hit the join button. There are two levels, a $299 level and a $499 level. There's all uh, merch discounts as part of the 499 level. That's just one of the perks that, that's out there. You get preferential treatment during live streams. If you leave a chat during a live stream, channel members get their chats read first. Uh, there are contests I do every now and again for channel members, early access to videos, things like that. Also, 
You can support me by hitting that heart thanks option below. It's a one-time donation you can make here to the channel. Leave a chat along with it. Or you can go into my merch store, get yourself a t-shirt, a hat, a coffee mug, all kinds of items over there to choose from, all kinds of different designs as well. Go check that out. The link's also in the description box. Or you can click one of the photos below. It will take you right to the store. Last but not least, you can support me absolutely 100% free and easily. Four ways. You can like the video. It's a thumbs up button below. You can share it out with your friends. You can drop the comment that I mentioned. Last but not least, subscribe to the channel. Help me get to my next major goal of 10,000 subscribers. Continue to grow this thing. With that being said, I really appreciate your support. I appreciate you tuning into this episode. And until the next one, Q Country Roads. <laughs>